Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, is in a big trouble. After the National Police Service Commission, on Monday, June 5th, nullified promotions affected by Inspector Jafet Kome. National Police Service Commission Eliud Kenudia argued that Jafet Kome bypassed the commission's role as stipulated by the law. As there is a big problem and uh, push and pull in police, Kome came out promoting National Police Service Spokesperson Resila Onyango and Nairobi Regional Commander Adamson Bungei to assist Inspector General of Police. This was not well received by the National Police Service Commission which the chair is Eliud Kenodia. According to the reports, General Service Unit Commandant Eliud Lagat and Internal Affairs Unit IAU Director David Bairech were promoted also to Senior Assistant Inspector General of Police. So the confusion here is that at the same time, the Mombasa and Eastern Regional Commanders, Tom Kimani and Joseph Napeyan, were also promoted to rank of AIG, the National Police Service Commission, is complaining that Jafet Kome never followed the law. Then what is something that is, is when you look at something that is bringing a lot of challenge here is the National Service Police Commission is defending themselves that that was not the role of Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome. And by the way, this also came after there was a question where was Jafet Kome. As he disappeared on a limelight as inspector that as people are reasoning out that he is expected to be frequently seen having his duties. But again, according to the promotions that were announced by police headquarters with the names set to be forwarded to the National Police Service Commission for ratification on Friday before the National Assembly Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee also the Commission accused Inspector General of Police as sapping its human resources functions, which is not meant for that. Ladies and gentlemen, when you look at the National Police Service Commission alleged, alleging that it could not effectively execute his mandate due to commerce kind of implementation of his own resolutions, now, the Chief Executive of National Police Service Commission, Peter Lelei, stated that Kome should comply with the legal policy and the institutional regulatory framework guiding the team's human resources functions. So, as the Office of the Inspector General Police is independent, 
when it comes to the resources that is being allocated to yeah to to to, to, to the to the commission uh, rather to the police is that i have realized that this independent Jafet Kome is using it not in accordance to what it is expected so in this uh, the, 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 the commission came out telling the house that the inspector general of police has severely cited article 245 4 of the constitution as the reason for not implementing decisions of the commission on recruitment appointments confirmation in appointments dismissals transfers and promotions should be relayed towards the article that is stipulated to relay the information on how these promotions appointments dismissals transfers should be done so the national police commission is an independent commission established by constitution of kenya and according to my opinion to oversee the national police service commission coming out to rub shoulders against the inspector general of police there is a very big ugly fallout that is being seen between inspector general of police and the commission it is also has the power to investigate complaints against the police officers and to recommend disciplinary action so the national police service commission was established in 2010 following the disbandment of the kenya police service and kenya administration police service so to improve it accountability to the public but the same thing is <coughs> there's still a breach of the law as some that are being appointed in these offices they don't understand what should be stipulated to follow the law so when you look at jafet kome is just doing whatever he believes not in accordance to the constitution so he is not expected himself appoint promote someone just like that without any reference from the national police service commission this but despite being praised for its work in reforming the police service it has also been criticized for its failures to address police corruption and brutality so then what next <clears throat> what next with these people <clears throat> that now the national police service commission is coming out to reject their appointment their promotion at the same time they are brushing um, shoulders as they are not agreeing on a certain simple way or framework on how to handle this issue of promotion then it means that the Nairobi police commander Adamson Bungei will not be promoted he will just remain on his position as these issues are being solved but for me when i was just looking this kind of wrangle between the inspector and the national police service commission there's a, a, a big gap that is continuing to widen day in day out as either inspector general of police is not doing something that is right on this side maybe the national police service commission is not feeling comfortable the duty or rather maybe inspector general of police never did whatever they were expecting so through the law and in accordance to the constitution of the republic of kenya we are being told that jafet kome went contrary to the law by promoting adamson bungei and three other police officers ladies and gentlemen what i have thought is there any possibility 
of police having a crack as there is a huge disagreement between themselves drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much bye bye till you meet on another video